Tile Setter just wrapped up doing the tile work for our bathrooms. The uh, shower walls and enclosures are done, the floors are done, everything's grouted, everything looks great. He did a great job. Lines look plumb and level. And so at this point, we're ready to start the installation of our cabinets. There's different types of cabinets on the market as far as there's, there's a, what they consider a box cabinet, and then there's a semi-custom cabinet, and then there's a full-blown custom cabinet. In this house, there was value engineering thought forward on the design of this home so that we could use semi-custom cabinets. So that it became uh, easier to manufacture, easier to get the product, more time effective, more cost effective. But that, every home isn't always value engineered. Kitchen remodeling, usually go in and that's where you'd have to use a full-blown custom cabinet most of the time. The process in this home, if we back up a little bit, first off, as a kitchen designer, I meet with the, with the customer to find out what they want. We look at the blueprints that are produced by the architect, we take that space that's available, then we find out where the appliances go and what their needs and likes are. So as a kitchen designer, I work that all in. And then once, once the order is processed and ordered and the cabinets show up, they're delivered on site, typically into the garage. And uh, the, other, the next thing that would happen is that you take the, the drawings that I produce with 2020 Design Program, it's a computer generated drawings and design, give the install, installation crew um, supervisor that drawing and then he will take and start marking on the wall where the cabinets go. And then he'll find the studs where the cabinets will be screwed to, you drill a hole through the back of the cabinet and screw that cabinet into the studs and then the cabinet face frames are screwed together. Between each cabinet, the face frames get screwed together, plumb, level, square, and you know, basically that's how you get the whole thing going. So Chase, hey, you're Bruce. finishing up with the cabinets here. Yeah, the installer just got done putting this in, so I just put the last drawer in. It has that nice soft close feature on it. And it's a great feature. It really is, I love, love the hardware. So, you know, we got uh, countertops are going to be measured tomorrow. Okay. So that's going to be nice. So turn around pretty quick on those? Turnaround is going to be about a week, week and a half. And okay. they'll come and measure them, and then they'll make them up in their shop, bring them back and install them. They're getting undermount sinks from what I understand. Right. We'll have those on site tomorrow. Awesome. So they can take a look at those. That's great. So. And we got uh, we got a nice tall cabin here. For yeah, the great lens. storage here. Yeah, it's not, it really laid out nice for the double bowls. And I have to say, the value engineering in this house was great with the space that we were able to use a semi-custom cabinet rather than having to use a custom cabinet or a box cabinet with wide fillers. And this worked out really nice. It looks great. It's more to get the use out of the cabinet than filler strips. Absolutely. So. You got it. Well, thanks again. And we'll Look talk about the countertops. Sounds great. Visit the Built to Last website to learn about these topics and more.